What's up everybody? I know most of you don't have one of that or one of that It's not easy for you to tell if you have enough refrigerant in your system So today I'm going to show you three cool tricks how to tell if you have enough refrigerant in your AC Thank you for watching and please subscribe because one of our subscribers will be getting this <laughs> honey Honeywell Honeywell Wi-Fi Wi -Fi, um, thermostat. thermostat for our next month's giveaway The best thing going to do is uh, pretty much you're going to feel the temperature coming out of the condenser you just want to put your hands up and feel the air and what it is like you're going to feel around 10 to 15 degrees uh, high than normal temperature if you see any cold spots like in certain spots like right over here it's not too much it's kind of colder than the rest of the area you're definitely missing some refrigerant uh, this test is you cannot tell how much percentage wise uh, exactly but you can still know if you all of it it's pretty much coming with a hotter temperature so the second test we're going to do is like a we're still going to be outside unit and what we're looking for is the return pipe the return copper pipe that's between the units and uh, you can locate it right over here we had a liquid pipe and then we got a return vapor pipe and what we're looking for is the temperature of that particular pipe sometimes you can see it visually uh, every time that pipe is sweaty uh, you can see some moisture condensation on it it's pretty much a good sign of kind of 95 percent of refrigerant level to be okay if that pipe is missing moisture like in our case uh, i see it's colder but it's not a cold it's probably around 70 degrees that means you're missing some refrigerant uh, i'll say uh, 25 percent at least having if do that pipe uh, it's frosted all around it that means you having definitely issues either with uh, restriction somewhere in the pipe or the refrigerant uh, levels are definitely low and one more thing if you have actually two units outside you can compare the readings from one to another so here what we have is like uh, the temperature gauge on one side and we got uh, the temperature reader and uh, we got the second side right there and uh, it's definitely showing a lot of difference as you can see uh, the temperature 80 degrees it's on uh, one side and the other one is like a 60s so now i'm going to show you your third test and we're inside the house and doesn't matter uh, if you have your vents up there or on the floor it doesn't matter which uh, way you get what we're going to do is like uh, we're going to use a temperature gauge you can use any temp thermometer uh, I'm using infrared it's like 25 hours and you're going to see the link uh, down below if you want to purchase one uh, it's a cheap harbor freight one but still does work and what we're looking for is the temperature that's coming out of the, the air coming out of the vent uh, what we're seeing is like a, if you have a temperature uh, that's around 14 uh, degrees and over uh, 14 18 degrees difference between the room temperature and the vent uh, that's mean uh, your systems most likely uh, have plenty of refrigerant uh, I'll say 95 percent if your refrigerant uh, if your temperature the delta the difference between the two temperatures uh, less than 14 I'll say uh, 10 to 14 degrees you missing around 20% at least mm -hmm. and if the temperature the Delta it's uh, more than that uh, I mean uh, less than 10 degrees most likely you're missing around 40 to uh, I'll say 20 to 50 percent so it's definitely need to get it checked out and what we're doing is like a uh, we need a ambient temperature so we're going to just pick the wall temperature and right now it's a uh, 75 degrees and we're going to measure the temperatures coming out of the uh, so what I have is uh, 65 degrees so most likely uh, in, in a 10 uh, degree difference 
10 uh, degree delta and most likely we're going to be missing some refrigerant and now suspect because outside it was showing like a 20 percent and now we're seeing uh, around only 10 degrees I'll say most likely 30 percent 30 to 40 percent most likely and stick around I'm going to show you a cool trick how to tell how many pounds or ounces I'll say you're missing of your refrigerant without you even putting the gauges on so to recap just uh, in the first part what we are doing is uh, we're just checking to make sure you got some cooling done the compressor is working and you can feel some heat coming out of the outside unit in a second test what we're looking for is a condensation on the return pipe and uh, if there's no condensation you can check the temperature just to verify it's in the correct uh, range in the third test we're trying to find the difference between the room temperature and the temperature of the cold air coming from the vent in our case uh, we find out the delta is only 10 degrees so probably we estimated that we're missing uh, 30 to 40 percent so once you know approximately what percentage you refrigerant you're missing here's the easy way to turn it into a pound try to locate an identification label on the outside unit similar to that there you can find the amount of refrigerant and also the type of refrigerant in our case we guesstimated that we are 30 to 40 percent low so in 66 ounces in this case we're probably expecting to have 20 to 27 ounces added to top it off Oh, that's most likely one to two pounds in the second example we're working with the R410 and the system use approximately seven pounds so in this case if you have a 30 to 40 percent missing we expect to have 33 to 45 ounces added oh that's approximately two to three pounds hit that like button if you like this video subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video